Hope you got a full battery. Um, Dude, I have a full battery. What's up, guys? Let's go on a tour right here. We're at the LeMay collection of classic cars, and it's freaking awesome. So, I'm gonna give you a little tour. Why is that a dragon car? It's the Dover car. This is the Do this is the Dover car. That's that's it's the Dover car, that's my name for it. Because it's a dragon. And Dover Kane is the dragonborn from Skyrim. So this is the Dover car. What? Look at the 1926 Pierce Arrow. Holy crap. Check out a hood ornament. An email list that we send out every month. If you don't want it, then you should specify that. We'll stick there, but we send out updates about what's going on here. We do a trunk or treat for Halloween or the podcast card over now. Oh, it's Elvis. That's a real guitar. That's really creepy. Dang. 1937 Ford Phaeton. Let's follow the lady. We're good. We're good. All right. So none of you guys have been here before, then, huh? Well, you're in for a treat. Well, you're in for a treat. Where? Mustang? Oh. <laughs> Sweet. I'm filming and putting this on YouTube. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Dang. Mother of Pearl. Gas stations and washing machines. Huh? And what the hell? What the heck is this? Pocket blocks. I got these folks here. I'm gonna add on to your crew if that's all right. Yeah. Okay. They haven't seen anything yet, so I don't know if the end you want to bring them back to this. I'll bring them back to this room. That'll be fine. This is Walt. He'll take care of you. Thanks. Okay, Walt. I'm sorry. Can we step forward? You want to go quickly or? You only have about an hour. Um, if you need to go separately, I know you have. Have you seen all the pictures? Please don't touch them. Oh, my one request. You can take all the pictures you want. Please do not touch them. Please do not rule. All the cars. You can build on the floor. Somebody clean it up. This is a Stutz. This is a four-door limo. Or not limo. A very fine car. Stutz only built. 4,800 cars total? Yes. Wow. They were not a large manufacturer. Is that the brakes? Where, here? Uh -huh. No, that holds that side now, no. Okay. This next car is a Stutz. It started with the same type body as this. It was shot up in a movie, all to pieces. So it was rebodied to that configuration. People say, well, that's not correct. That makes it a kit car. It does not. That was a Stutz body style. The Pierce Air, the Stutz, the Duesenberg, the Rolls Royce were periodically sent back to the factory to be rebodied. Oh. Hmm. They would drive, I believe it was the Stutz, like 400 miles before they deliver it, bring it back into the shop, disassemble the engine, inspect all the pieces, put it back together, and then deliver it. They're straight eights. This car has, this car ran in the Great American Race. It was, the sedan was used in the Untouchables, okay? This car ran in the Great American Race, took the check. Oh. Okay, these races are not speed races. They're event races. Each morning, you check in, you and your navigator, they hand you a piece of paper with all stops. They say you will leave here at 9.14 minutes. 
you will be at the next check-in at 9.42. If you're early, they dock you. If you're late, they dock you. So any car 50 years old can run. It is designed so that every car has a fair chance and they're not competing in speed, they're competing in navigation and getting there. Wow. Tell me about this uh, back end. This is called a boat tail. Auburn built them, Stutz built them, several car companies built them. The last one built in this country was the Riviera. Oh, oh, yeah. it. It's yeah. also a boat tail. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> this next room is a swimming pool. I'll come back to <laughs> the area. And this was a military academy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the cars in this room are English. We have a couple of buggies that are Amish. Oh, I like to point out to young couples, especially ones that aren't married but passing through here, is that if you were Amish and you went out, you would ride in the open buggy. Mm -hmm. Your father or the bishop would follow you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a lot of fun, does it? <laughs> This is a Sunbeam Alpine. The next car is a MGA. Everybody knows the MGB, everybody knows the MGPD. Not a lot of A's out there. The last car is a British Standard, which was the basis for the first Jaguar. If you look at all these English cars, every one of them has semaphore turn signals. Cars. Yeah, that's awesome. Each car, second, I had wiped out. The door, third was the next turn. This little thing flips up. I could do a rubber. It's a nice 10 horsepower car there. That is freaking awesome. 1953, 1935 standard A10 box. This is a box hall. Box hall, general orders product. Around. And uh, it's all about general motors. Oh, that interior. Somebody asked me one day, he said, is this what bankrupt the Kaiser family? I said, I don't think so. There's still Kaiser Steel, Kaiser Linden, mm -hmm. Kaiser Permanente, mm -hmm. Kaiser Resource. I Kaiser said, Medical. Yes, I said, Kaiser Steel Rich. <laughs> the color of this car is Indian ceramic. Do you know how I know? Huh? If you look on the side of it, Kaiser liked this car, so they really put it on the side. Oh, it's color. straight. Really. Yeah. And also have a 49 Kaiser color code there that says it's Indian the mm. <laughs> Yep. Where's the Indian Right behind it. I'm kind of partial to Kaisers because my family had a dealership for like eight or nine years. Mm. Went out of business. What, what year was that? What, what, what years did they have? Late? 40s to 54. Hazard, quit making cars in this country in 56. 
This is freaking awesome. It will also be a very long video. Exercise bike. Yes. Kaz was an industrialist. Joe Frazier was president of Grant. He and Kaz got a long time. And 51 Kaz were just doing out of town. The original Kaz was supposed to be a new body to the front end car. Still haven't found the dream one yet. So they went to the uh, hardly started. Just a, just a try and look at all the look at Moving van moving vans? Moving trucks. Fire trucks. A teapot. Yes. Someone gave this thing a touch up. Henry J., when he decided he had enough of the car business, turned it over to the edge of his pole. Henry J. went to Hawaii with a vacation and went a decent place to stay. Rickshaw. And he started building a hotel. Oh. <laughs> Went in a different area. Yes. So right. freaking awesome. Yeah, this is a great place. People can come here. He built several hotels. Actually, it's possible. In this next little room, we have 480 some odd brass water hose nozzles. Somebody collected and gave to Harold. <laughs> One guy had all of these. Water hose nozzles. Water hose. What a bizarre collection. That's a huge water hose. I, I thought these were like spark plugs or something. The big room. Look at the this is a 54 Skylark convertible. I love the rear end on this car, the chrome one. Harold just bought all these fuel pumps six months ago or so. And the guy he bought them from told him, he said, I'll sell them to you under certain conditions. One of them is you have to have lights in them. They have to be plugged in. The second one is, I get to place them in your museum where I want them. Really? Oh, okay. Interesting. What's that? The signs? The, 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 the gas, gas pumps. Oh. Did he want credit for that? Does he have a no, that's name? He wanted this place where he wanted That's what he's going to do there. This was one of Doug's personal vehicles. For Harold's personal vehicles. Which one? This El Camino pickup. Oh. It's got lights all the way across the back. It does not have your standard El Camino lights. And whose was this? Doug's or Harold's? Harold's. Harold's. This was Doug's first car when he was 16 years old. Oh, or wow. 14 years old. It didn't even run. His first car. And he played with it until he got old enough to drive. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> if I had Harold's money, I'd. Well, maybe you should quit your job and work at Microsoft. This is a Chrysler Imperial. This, being a Chrysler Imperial, there's no steps to get in the rear, there is a door. What? What? On the far side of it. Oh, on the other side. Oh, yeah. So one side. This folds up. <laughs> once you get in, it lays back down so that you have something in front of you. Well, it's not the right See. Comfort your blow when you get the accident. Yeah. Chop your head off. Are you getting pictures as you go? <laughs> yeah. Or are you just, He's filming. Just, just viewing. <laughs> Limo. 
Everybody doing okay? Yep. That's all, that's all the time we have for now. So I hope you enjoyed this little part tour of the LeMay Family Car Museum. Ooh, official pace car. That's freaking amazing. So I will see you all tomorrow at Suhana Torre. What is that?